flutter local notifications let's get started the first thing we need to do is move under pathpay.aml file and get the dependency of flutter local notifications of the following current version and for the state management we shall be using provider so you shall be getting the following dependency of provider once you are getting the following dependencies we shall be moving under android under source of app and here under android manifest.xml file you need to add the following permissions which is for internet for vibration of our following notifications and also for receive boot completed once you have get the following permissions let's go at the top and you need to add the following piece of line of receiver and also for intent now don't worry i will be pasting the following piece of lines under the description box make sure you check them out so once we have got the modifications under our android manifest.xml file you can go under your res that is res folder and under drawable you need to add the following icon for our notifications now you can add any sort of icons as you want i just added the default icon of flutter just for our own sake so first thing first under our views i have just nothing but a home page which have five different buttons of instant notifications image media scheduled and a cancel one so now we can go under our project folder and create a different folder for all the services and under this i can have a new file of notifications dot dot so under our this file i will be having a new class of notification service the following class shall be extending with change notifier so here let's have extend with change notifier just like this so after having the particular chain notifier thing the first thing that we need to do is get the instance of flutter local notification plugin so for that purpose i can have a final flutter local notification plugin to be a flutter local notification plugin and this thing shall be equal to flutter local notification plugin just like this so after having this instance let's have a new initialize method for our notifications so here let's have a new method of initialize and here i will be writing a new future method of initialize the following method is going to be asynchronous so let's make this process to be asynchronous and under this file first of all i will be having a new instance of flutter local notification to be of flutter local notification and this thing shall be equal to flutter local notification plugin just like this and after having the following notification plugin instantiation i will be having three different channel specific declarations so first of all let's have android initialization settings to be android initialization settings and the following thing shall be equal to android initialization settings and under this we shall be pasting our default icon which is ic launcher so here let's paste on the following icon of ic launcher just like this and after this thing we can have our, our ios initialization as well so for that purpose i can write here ios initialization settings to be ios initialization settings and this thing shall be equal to yes you guess it right android that is ios initialization settings after having the initializations for android and also for ios i can have your final instance of initialization settings so here let's have initialization settings to be initialization settings and the following thing shall be equal to a new initialization settings so here let's have initialization settings and under this let's paste on for android to be android initialization settings and after that for ios yes you guess it right we shall be pasting our following output here let's paste it up and now we are good to go so once we have declared everything that is necessary let's have our final method for awaiting so here i will be simply writing await plugin dot initialize and under initialize it will be requiring initialization settings that we have just carried up so after having the particular initialize we can go back under our home view and under our int state method we can paste the following method so here i will be simply writing provider dot off for a context of notification service and under this i will be having listen property to false and here i can simply say initialize just like this so after having this method let's go back under notifications so here let's generate some different notification services for instant image media and scheduled one and we will be also having a button for cancelling a particular thread of all the notifications so first thing first let's go under our notification service and here let's have a new method for our instant notifications so here let's have a comment so here let's have a new future method of instant notification the following method is going to be asynchronous so let's make the following process to be asynchronous and under our method of instant notifications 
First of all, let's have Android notification details. So here let's have variable Android should be equal to Android notification details. And under this, it will be requiring channel ID, channel name and channel description. So first of all, let's have our channel ID to be channel ID. And after that, let's have a new channel name to be channel itself. And after that, it will be requiring a description. So here let's have description just like this. And after having this Android specific settings, let's have one more setting for iOS. So here let's have variable iOS is equal to our iOS notifications details just like this. Now, if you are following the following purpose over iOS, you need to perform the following ID channel and description under this. But we are now carrying our operation over Android. So we don't require that. And after that, I will be having a variable of platform. So here let's have a new platform to be a new or right, a new uh, notification details just like this. And under this, let's have for Android to be Android. And after that, let's have for iOS to be iOS just like this. And after having our platform, we can simply say await for flutter local notification plugin dot show. And under the show, we can have our title, body and notification details. So under ID, let's have ID of zero. And under title, let's say demo notification. And under body, you can have any sort of body as you need. But for now, I can simply say tap to do something. And after this, we shall be requiring our platform. So here, let's have the platform that we have just generated. And after having the particular platform, it will be requiring notification details. So under this, I can simply say payload to be some different payload. Now the payload shall be nothing but simply a way to carry our message under our application. So here I can say welcome to demo app and add a semicolon and we are good to go. So once we have done this, we are good to go. So now what we can really do is move on to our next notification. Let me write all the code first and show the action later. So here let's have image notification. So under a case of image notification, first of all, we shall be requiring a new method of image notification just like this. Let's make this process to be asynchronous. And under our image notification, first of all, it will be requiring a big picture style information. So here yeah, let's have a big style. So here yeah, let's have a big picture. And the following thing shall be equal to big picture information just like this. And under this, we shall be simply requiring here a new format of our drawable or right, a drawable Android bitmap. And under this, it will be requiring its name. So here yeah, let's have a name to be IC launcher just like this format document first and after having this big picture information let's go forward and after having this big picture information we will have some different properties so first of all we can have a property of large icon and under large icon i can simply say drawable android bitmap and under this let's place on the path of ic launcher after having this large icon we shall be requiring a property of content title and under this i can say demo image notification after having the content title will be requiring a property of summary text so under summary text we can say and after having this text let's have the property of html format content to be true or a true one and also one more for html content title to be true just like this and we are now good to go so once we have our property of big picture all right let's move forward so once we have our property of big picture, let's have the following specifics of Android. So for that purpose, I will be copying the following name of our Android and paste it here. But here let's have some different information. So here let's have a style information. And under style information, we can paste our big picture. So I can copy this name and paste it here. Format document first. After having this thing, let's have our platform specifics. So I can copy the following platform specifics and paste it here but it won't be requiring an iOS for now. Easy thing. And after having the following notification details, let's await for, all right, let's await for Flutter local notification plugin dot show. And under show, it will be requiring all of these parameters, but I can copy our following thing here and paste it here, just like this. All right, format document first. And here I can have demo image notification and tap to do something just like this. So after having image notifications, let's have some stylish notifications. So here let's have a new method for stylish notifications. So here let's have stylish notification. Under this method, it will be having a new feature of stylish notification. 
and under this let's make the following process to be asynchronous just like this and under our case of stylish notifications it will be requiring same android details so for that purpose we can copy our following android details and paste it here but here it will also requiring some different parameters so first thing first let's have a new color and under color let's have a new color of colors dot deep orange accent or any sort of thing and after that we shall be having a property of enable light to be true just like this and i can also have the property of enable vibration to be true and after having this thing let's have a large icon so for having large icon we can go at the top and here i can copy our following thing that we have written here and after having a la large icon let's have some stylish information for media style information just like this and under this let's have the property of html format content to be true and also the property of html format title to be true easy peasy so after this we are good to go so once we have done with our property of our android let's have our platform so for having that platform i can copy our platform specifics and paste it here and after this we can simply await for our entire flutter local notification to show the following notification so format document first but here we don't need any payload so we can remove the following payload from here and now we are good to go so after having the stylish information that is stylish notification let's have some scheduled notification so for that purpose let's have a new method of scheduled notification so under the case of scheduled notification i can have a different method for it so for that purpose i can have a future method of scheduled or right, i am bad at spelling but scheduled notification let's make the following process to be asynchronous just as we do so under this method first of all it will be requiring a certain interval so that our notification can travel through the particular snippet of time so for that purpose let's have a new variable of interval and under this variable i can simply say repeat interval dot for every minute you can have any sort of thing as you need and after having this let's copy the following notification of our image notification so i can copy everything from there and paste it here but here it will requiring some different parameters so first of all instead of show it will be requiring a parameter of periodically show so let's have a periodically show and after that let's remove the following payload from here before our platform let's have the interval so let's have the interval here and format document first and we are good to go so here i can simply say demo schedule notification just like this and now we are good to go so here let's have some demo stylish notification so once we have done with all of our methods let's create one more method for cancelling the thread of all the notification so here let's have a new method of cancel notification so under our case of cancel notification i will have a new future method for cancel notification let's make this process to be asynchronous and here i can simply say await for flutter local notification plugin of cancel all just like this so once we are done with all of our notal notifications let's make them into action so here let's go under our home view and instead of column let's remove it off and here let's have a new child to be a consumer for our provider so here under consumer let's give it a type of notification service and under this method first of all it will be requiring a builder so here let's provide the builder a context a model and an empty value for the child and we can paste our column that we have just copied format document first so here on pressing over it let's assign the different properties that we have just defined so here i can simply say model dot instant notification and after this i can copy the particular snippet of line cool so now under a case of image notification let's have image notification and under media let's have all right i think we have assigned a name here so let's go back and here after having this image let's have the stylish information which is a media notification so here let's have media notification after that let's have scheduled one and also we are having a cancel notification thread service and now we are good to go but before carrying out our actual operation let's go under main dot dart and here instead of material app let's have a multiple provider that is multi provider so under the case of multi provider we just have only a single provider so here let's have a change notifier provider and under the case of create let's have an empty value and the following value shall be referring to notification service just like this and after having this thing let's have the child to our multiple provider so let's paste on everything here and now we are good to go 
सो लेट्स ओपन आर एंड्रॉइड एम्युलेटर लेट्स ट्राई इट आउट फॉर नाउ सो लेट्स गो हियर एंड आफ्टर प्रेसिंग ओवर इंस्टेंट वी आर गेटिंग द फॉलोइंग नोटिफिकेशंस एंड हियर ऑन टैब टू डू समथिंग वी कैन हैव एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ ऑपरेशंस दैट वी नीड टू लाइक नाउ द कॉमन ऑपरेशंस मे बी ओवर अ पर्टिकुलर चैट एप्लीकेशन वेयर द यूजर शैल बी गेटिंग अ पर्टिकुलर नोटिफिकेशन और दैट समवन हैज मैसेज यू and on tapping over it the user can simply navigate to a particular screen on any sort of this thing so for doing that thing we can have a property of on select notification so here let's have a property of on select notifications you can do any sort of thing as you want so for demo so for initializing thing up i can simply have a new method of do something the following method will be asynchronous and here you can have any sort of property thing as you want and for the common cases shall be simply including for navigating and the common case for be including for navigating to next screen or any sort of thing now i have promised the following tutorial shall be as short as possible so i won't be covering the property here but you can simply paste the following property here and this thing shall be working as well so in this way you can simply carry all of your flutter notifications under your flutter app that is all of the following notifications if i click it up after pressing over instant i will be getting the following instant notifications of demo testing 2 so now let's clear it once after pressing over image notification i will be getting a big image of image notification let's make it up here so if i simply get into my admin panel here you can see i will be getting a big notification which is an image notification let's carry out for media notification and after tapping over it you can see we will be getting our media notification as well that is a demo testing for stylish notification and we have also implemented the following notification style of schedule notification and for this purpose it will be simply reoccurring again and again after every single minute so in this way you can simply perform all of the following notifications under a flutter application which may be useful for your entire application which you will i hope you have loved the following tutorial and if you do so hit that like button please do that and also if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe if you are not so i will see you in the next one with another great video goodbye